Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, four problems have completed on partnership accounts main problems. In this video, fifth problem I'm going to explain. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So if you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject advanced accounting and select the videos partnership accounts be perfect about the concept the starting problems are very very important short problems be perfect about that then only you can be able to proceed ahead so watch all the videos and apart from this advanced accounting i have uploaded so many subjects videos like financial accounting cost accounting management accounting corporate accounting and uh, cost accounting income tax, uh, statistics, so many subjects I have uploaded. Select your subject, watch all the videos, have good knowledge on the subjects. So before starting the problem, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I will explain all the points in detail. Now, see the problem number five. Fifth problem I am reading out. On 1st January 2005, Mr. Author and Mr. Book entered into a partnership on the following terms. So, two partners are there, Mr. Author and Mr. Book. Started the business on 1st Jan. And uh, the terms are, Mr. Author and Mr. Book are to contribute capital of 50,000, 30,000 respectively. These are the capital, 50,000, 30,000. Profits and losses are to be shared in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Interest on capital is to be allowed at 5% per annum. Interest on drawing is to be charged at 2% per annum. Mr. Author is to get a salary of 500 per month. Mr. Book is to get commission at 2% on the net profits of the firm before charging any of the above. So whatever profit the firm earns on that 2% will be the commission payable to Mr. Book. On 31st December 2005, their trading profits before giving effect to the above term was 60,000. So profit before making all the adjustments, 60,000. During the year, Mr. Author has withdrawn 1,000 and Mr. Book find it from the firm on which interest is to be charged for the whole year. Remember, that is the new point. If, the, if it is not given, then we would have assumed that in drawings were made in the middle of the year. So we calculate interest for six months. Many students will get the doubt. In some problem you are multiplying six by 12. In some problems you are not. Specifically given in the problem, interest on drawing is to be charged for the full year. That's why we are not multiplying six by 12. If that sentence would not have been given, then we have to assume that the drawings are made in the middle of the year. Then we have to multiply 6 by 12. You are required to prepare profit and loss appropriation account for the year ended 31st December 2005 and partner's capital account. In, case, in cases when their capitals are fixed and their capitals are fluctuating. Under two different circumstances, we have to prepare the capital account and current account, right? But before that, first of all, we are required to make the appropriation account to find out the divisible profit and sharing the profit between the partners. This is the profit and loss appropriation account. Credit side will take profit and loss account. Before making all the adjustments, the trading profit and loss account shows a profit of 60,000. Now, credit side interest on drawings. The drawings are made 1000 by author and 500 by book. And interest has to be charged at 2% for the whole year it is given. That's why into 2%, 20 into 2%, 10. So interest on drawings we have taken on the credit side as usual. Now, interest on capital debit side. The capital contributed are 50,000 and 30,000 by author and book. And interest on capital is to be allowed at the rate of 5%. So 50,000, 5%, 2,500, 30,000, 5%, 1,500. Salary is allowed, is payable to author at the rate of 500 per month into 12, 6,000. Commission to book. 
it is given that book is to be allowed a commission of 2% on the profit before making all the adjustments. So before making the adjustment, profit is 60,000. So 60,000 into 2%, 1200. Now take the total on the credit side, 60,030. From 60,030 minus 2,500, minus 1,500, minus 6,000, minus 1,200. So divisible profit, distributable profit is 48,830. This is the balancing figure. Profit after making all the adjustments. Now this profit will be shared by the partners in the profit sharing ratio. 3 is to 2. So 3 by 5, 2 by 5. So author will get a share of profit 29,298 and book will get a share of profit 19,532. That's all. So this is the profit and loss appropriation account. Now two cases are given. The first case is if capitals are fixed. When capitals are fixed, all adjustments will be done in current account. We will not touch the capital account. Capital account is separate and current account is separate. So here current account. In current account, we will take all the adjustment interest on capital 2500, 1500 already we have calculated here. Interest on capital. Then salary of author A. A is author, B is book. Then commission to book 1200. Share of profit 29, 298, 19,500. Debit side will take drawings and interest on drawings. Drawings are 1500 and interest on drawings are 20 and 30. Now simply find out the balancing figure. So here credit side total 37,798. From 37,798 minus 1000 minus 20. 36,778 is the closing balance of current account of author. Now this is the capital. Similarly, book also, credit side total 22, 232. From 22, 232, minus 500, minus 10. 21, 7, 22 is the closing balance of current account of book. Now, this is the carry down and this is the problem. That's it. When capitals are fixed, all the adjustments we have done in current account. Now, here capital accounts. Beginning of the year, buy back. Because it is a new partnership started on 1st Jan. So entry will be bank account debit, capital account credit. So here I am writing buy back. So here 50,000, 30,000. Now take the balancing, balance carried down, balance brought down. So in this way, the capital account and current account, if the capital accounts are fixed. Now second case, if the capital accounts are fluctuating, in that case only one account will be prepared for each partner. That is capital account. This is the capital account. Author book. So credit side by bank. Because capital and adjustment, everything we are taking in this account. So by bank, 50,000, 30,000. Now we take interest on capital, salary of author, commission to book, whatever we have taken in current account. The same item we are taking in the capital account. Debit side drawings, interest on drawings, same thing what we have taken here in current account. Same thing I have taken in capital account. The only difference here is. Here we have taken the opening capital, here we have not taken the capital, that is the difference. Now balancing figure 86,778, take the total of the credit side, minus 1000, minus 20, 86,778. This is the closing balance of capital account of author. Similarly, credit side total is 52,232, minus 500, minus 10, 51,722 is the closing balance of capital of book. That's it. So this is the end of problem number five. So inshallah in the next video we will start the next problem that is problem number six.